Gotcha, bitch. Hello, Jotsters. So I'm back from vacay. I went on a seven day cruise. I'm feeling oh God. refurbished and ready to be on my YouTube game. I'm so excited to be doing a look because I've missed it so much. I barely wore makeup on my cruise because I just couldn't be bothered. But anyways, let's get into the tutorial. So today we're going to start off with brows and I'm actually using something different for once. So Benefit sent me this brow survival kit. I still am so shook about. So basically it just has a lot of different brow products in it. So we're going to try these babies out today. So today I'm going to be trying out the Cabrow and this is actually my first time ever using any of Benefit's brow products. So I'm excited to try them. I don't know if they can live up to Anastasia, but we will see. So basically it has a little built-in brush through the little handle thing, which is really cool. We'll all use this and see how it works. <sighs> Guys, seriously, am I really this weak? thing because me or my mom can't get it open. <sighs> I'm done. I'm going to try not to pop a blood vessel today so I will actually be using something different. Take two, I'm going to be going in with the Precisely My Brow Pencil. Hopefully I can get this one open. Here is how the Precisely My Brow Pencil looks. The packaging is so freaking cute. It looks like a dart. working on keeping my studio clean so it doesn't get out of control. So one side is a brow like retractable pencil and one is just a spoolie so just in case you guys are wondering I'm sure you've seen it. Go ahead and come through these hairs. Wow, this works so good. I'm freaking shook. Hey guys, it kind of pains me to say this, but I think I might like this better than my Anastasia brow is. Guys, no, I live for Anastasia, so that is quite the statement. But no, like this just went on so precise. Honestly, like it, the uh, little pencil is so tiny that it gave like such realistic little brow hairs. So, and it just had a lot of pigment, blended so good. So I'm obsessed with this. I'll use it a couple more times and let you guys know what my my thought after I use it a couple times. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and set those brows in place with their gimme brow. So here is their gimme brow. It's just a brow gel. Okay. Now that we got the brows in check, we're going to move on to eyes. I'm going to be prepping my eyes with the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm getting so good at pronouncing that, guys. Remember when I used to say Shart every time? <sighs> Amateur. For eyes today, we're going to be going in with the Anastasia Subculture Palette. It's literally like the most controversial palette right now in the beauty world. I've already used it. A couple times and I didn't find anything wrong with it besides the fallout there was a lot of fallout but it's nothing like over the top for me but yeah so I'm gonna show you guys how I use it and oh, let's get started 
With my A12 brush, I'm going to be going in with New Wave. I'm going to be putting this from inner corner to outer corner as our transition color. As you can see, there is a lot of fallout, but that honestly doesn't really bother me that much as long as the pigment is there and the blendability is there. But I do understand where people are coming from with the fallout. So a very essential step in blending my eyeshadow is this Sephora color switch. So it's a little sponge and you dip your brush in it and you just swirl it around. I think I got it for like $18. But whenever I'm done with a color, I wipe my brush off. And then I just blend out the edges with no product just so it can blend into your skin color. That's really helped my blending game. I'm going to switch over to my Morphe M411 brush with New Wave again and just place this a little bit more tightly into the crease. What do you know? We're going to blend that right on out. I'm going to go in with New Wave and Roxy and mix those shades together with my Morphe 411 brush again. Off the excess and put it right in the crease of our eye. Now I'm going to go in with Electric and Adorn and mix those two colors together. I'm going to be placing that right in the middle. I like to mix those together because uh, this gold is just a bit too like bronzy for me for this look. So I like to mix it with electric to make it my perfect shade for the specific look. And lastly, just going to go in with a little bit of Electrica and just put that on the very, very center just to make it pop. Of course, my camera decided to stop in the middle of recording. <laughs> Silly camera, but all I did was clean up the edges and pop on some... Can you guys guess what lashes these are? Okay, so for foundation today, I'm going to be going in with my True Match Lumi foundation. It's in the shade W6. I actually just got off a 7 day cruise. So, this is like the only foundation that matches me. Got a nice little tan going, which is like, this is tan for me, so, yeah. I really look the same to you guys because I always have self-tanner on, but I ain't got no self-tanner on, and I'm actually this dark, which is still really pale, but anyways. Of course, I gained so many freckles. What's now? And you guys already know what concealer I'm using, don't have to tell you. I'm so freaking obsessed with this concealer. Most reason why I love this concealer is honestly you don't really have to set it because it kind of just sets itself, which means you don't have to worry about like when to go in with a liquid highlighter because you don't have to set those areas with so you guys, you know what that means, Anastasia Liquid Glow. So now I'm going in with Anastasia Liquid Glow in the shade Peach Fizz. They're right on my knuckle, I guess. Oh, sweet mahogany, I miss that. Thought we were done highlighting today. We're never done highlighting. Going in with my tried and true Nicole Guerrero Anastasia Glow Kit. I live for the shade Glow Getter, as you can tell. Seven Anastasia Nicole Guerrero Glow Kits later. In contour today with my rusty dusty contour kit. 
and I'm going to be going in with this warm and with this warm sh shade right here. And lastly, I'm going to go in with Cash from the Pool Party Anastasia Blush Trio. Trying to go fast because my camera is being so annoying it keeps not recording. I hope I'm actually being recorded right now. For the under eyes, we're going to go in with New Wave. Just put this on the inner and outer corner of the eye those same shimmery shades on our middle of our under eye. Extra little pop of shimmer. I'm going to go in with the NYX glitter liner and I'm just going to put some of that in my inner corner. Sparkle that up a bit. Anastasia going in again sending me her whole lipsticks. <laughs> I cannot believe this is my life, but I think I'm going to go in with the shade Dead Roses for the lips, which is kind of different for me. I don't really usually wear like pinky, well not pinky, like plummy colors, but there's always room for change. Guys, these lipsticks are so pigmented. Alrighty guys, so this is the completed look. Actually, first I'm looking at this look and I feel something is missing. Can you guys tell what that is? Guys, no. I live for my fake freckles. So it looks like that completes this look. Hope that you guys liked this tutorial and if you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Very close to 2000, so let's get it done. Also, let me know what you thought about the subculture palette down below if you guys are going to get it and what you thought. Alrighty, bye guys! Yeah.